know, Austin has such a distinct sense of style. Everyone has their own personal definition of what style is. It's not always, you know, what the trends are, what we're seeing on the runways. So it's fun to see what all the local boutiques are carrying, whether it's South Congress or the Second Street District or up at the Domain, because everyone stocks something a little bit different and everyone has their own kind of personal take on what they want to wear to holiday parties, whether it's an office party or a party with their friends or something in someone's backyard. I think that it's good to kind of take a look at what you have in your closet to begin with, just to kind of remind yourself, uh, you know, what seasonal products you might have. Uh, sometimes some of us even store our coats and, and sweaters and things like that, so I'd say get everything out uh, to, to kind of once over and then see what pieces you might want to add in. It could be, you know, something really simple like a scarf or um, a cashmere sweater, or it could be, some, you could say that this is the year that you want to purchase that great metallic or secret when dress that you want uh, to, to use for years to come. Um, so I get a lot of inspiration from color. I usually wear a lot of color, whereas my wife, she wears a lot of black. Um, so, so that I would say definitely looking to things like art, um, going to galleries, things like that, or looking for like cities that have that more um, energetic scene, whether it's like a Brazil or a Rio or Miami or even sometimes like a Vegas or an LA. Um, that's what I look for that because I feel like the the holidays are already it's a kind of a cold weather season so people tend people tend to stick to their basics of their blacks and their grays things like that um, and so I I I gravitate toward color. We also flip through a ton of magazines like W, um, Vogue, Elle, just for inspiration to see, you know, what might be good for the holidays and just you know color trends like burgundies and wine colors for the fall and winter. Um, a lot of different jewelry inspirations and accessories. If you're a guy and you're in a style, you obviously start with GQ and Esquire because they have great taste. And I think that um, the subjects that they have are, you know, pretty good for, for getting cues, I think. But I really, I go to a lot of sites too. There are a lot of blogs that I think make a lot of sense in terms of if you're a guy looking for inspiration, whether it's um, the Sartorialist, um, Street Etiquette is one out of, out of New York that I like a lot. Um, Grungy Gentleman is another New York based blog that I look at a lot. So Refinery29 and Fashionista and a lot of the bloggers are doing some great, you know, what we're wearing now or sort of compilations of things that they recommend for the holidays. So it's fun to kind of, you know, glance through and see, you know, what might speak to you. Walking around and just living is the practice for having style. So like, yeah, like if you're, if you're Michael Jordan, yeah, you may show up in the games and you're very good at what you do. You know, but he also was really good in practice. And I think some people tend to think of like, oh, the holiday party, that's when I need to dress up and look nice. And it's like, well, no, that's the game. Hopefully you've been practicing, you know, and finding other occasions where you can wear that nice scarf or that dress or that tie or whatever. So you're not always limiting yourself to say, oh, it's the holiday party. So now I got to put this on and never wear it. So you're not really going to know how to wear it comfortably because you're not accustomed to it.